Hi and welcome back to the next and probably last episode of my playthrough of Halatau using the quote-unquote solo mode. I mean, don't get me wrong, the game can be played solo without any problems, but you're basically playing against yourself, so you're not dealing with any AI of some sort. And again, our target is 100 points, and yeah, again, I already lowered my expectations here down to maybe 60 points, 50 to 60 points. I would be already pretty happy with the assault. Unfortunately, yeah, I did something very terrible during my last um, video. I really cheated big time. And that was in respect to this gateway card here. It says you have to have three planted fields in row five. I had them in row five, that was not the problem. But at the time I played this card, those weren't planted. Luckily, and again, I checked the footage over and over again. If I simply would have played things in a slightly different order everything would have been fine the only change i need to do now in order to correct my mistake because i basically spent all of the hops but i later on planted the hops so because i cannot take everything back i have to basically assume i have played this right so um i took three hops instead uh, i basically taken i think back then five clay or five clay but Bottom line was, and this is what I keep remembering, I should have two less clay. And then pretty much this should have fixed the whole thing. So that's really great news. Additionally, you make me aware that I did something wrong in respect to some of my, re uh, my, my when I paid the, the progress here. Um, I believe I, when I understand it correctly, I should have one or more one more wool or meat or something like that but that's something really i cannot quite remember i didn't see that happening so i will penalize myself here to some extent and will not change that but again thanks so much for making me aware of this definitely well caught with that being said i think we can move into round five now so again we are checking the quadrant card here and that's quadrant four and i think this is a little bit disappointing because I was really hoping for one of those quadrants here because they have a lot of workers and going there now again this one here particularly would give me a lot of hides and meat but for three workers not sure if it's worth it but I will take it anyway so let's clean this quadrant here this will mean that I will most likely go to this action space getting yet another victory point card but I have to see about it but I think we should go there because we still have two rounds to play and we could definitely still try to go for one or maybe even two more of those cards okay that was phase one next we will deal with our farmyard card here now for the first time in the game this yeah, poor little sheep dies of a natural course. So it's gone because it's on this farmer card. We didn't manage to move it ahead or move it down. So it's that. So we're moving it here. And I already prepared this. We should be at 11 workers for this round. I think that is something. And overall, our plan for this playthrough should be to move this um, community center at least, that's the minimum, two more spaces in order to gain at least some points. But if we would be able to move it three more spaces or three more slots to the right, we would really gain a relatively large amount of victory points. So with two, we would gain 18 points. With three, that would be 34 points. And I think this should be really our minimum, or the 18 is the minimum, but I think this should be already a stretch goal, which I would be really happy with. Um, slight problem is, and I think I can simply move over here, that only, we didn't really do well, a great job moving those buildings to the right. At least this baking house here, we have basically prepared to move, but we really have to spend a hell of a lot of resources. In this round, we have to spend five goods or four goods if they are from two different kinds, or we have a further discount if we manage to have three different kind of goods. We only need to spend three goods. So I think this will be also something very, very important to do this round because then for three moving those over, I think that's not too big of a deal but of course yeah we need all those resources here we don't have any height and again that's definitely a pity that we cannot at least butcher a sheep we can go there but for three workers not sure if we can afford that 
Before we jump into the actions, we can deal with our bonus cards here, and that's definitely helpful. So we get in total three wool. I mean, wool is definitely great. We can spend it for our manufacturer, for example. We get two milk, which is also great for the cooling house, I believe. And we can plant one field. Yeah, okay, I take that. So again, overall, that was one, two, and three wool. I think that's already something. And it really could come back to haunt me that I cheated myself actually by spending too many resources during the last, or maybe it was the third round. I cannot quite remember now, but again, it, it was really too much now to repair. We're getting two milk for that. And we can also plant some stuff. And I think we really need some flax too. Because again, we need these if we want to spend flex for the upgrades later on. Um, of course, we need all of those resources. But for now, let's go for the flex. I think flex is now really important. In theory, I could also go for rye, but I think we need uh, barley. But I think we need more barley. Keep in mind, we still have this victory point card here too, which says to spend six barley and two jewelry. We have the jewelry. That's the good piece. But really, we it takes some time getting to six more barley. But okay, those were our bonuses. I think that's okay. Let's move into the actions. And um, before we do anything else, let's try to deal with some of those cards. I think, yeah, um, because they're right now relatively inexpensive, we will go for another victory point card. So let's see what we get. Okay, that's we need to spend 12 wool for 10 points. I mean, we have six wool already and we have some sheep. We have five sheep and we still have two more rounds, four more rounds, basically. And I think that's okay. That's actually quite okay. I take that. Cool, 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 cool. So, of course, we have to take it anyway, but there is no hand limit or whatever. You're not getting penalized for cards you have on your hand, whatever. It's basically simply cost us our work here. Okay, that wasn't terrible. And I guess we really have to go with some of those cheap actions this round. I mean, we can go for the fertilization and the tool shed here. This could give us four more clay. And I think that's uh, it's, that's tempting. That's too tempting. So let's go here again. We can choose to go for the clay or for another field. Yeah, let's definitely go for the clay. We needed to upgrade our carpentry. So this should bring us back to five clay in total. Okay, cool. For another worker, let's go to the fertilization. Again, we can move two empty fields into row five and then we can plant ones. I take that too. So again, we start here by moving those up into row five and then we can plant ones. And we definitely, definitely, definitely need barley for our victory point card. It will not be enough, but hopefully during my last round, I will be able to score this victory point card. We still have a lot of hops, but yeah, we need rye still. That's the problem. We need rye. Not so much, but at least a little bit. So maybe it would be okay could go here too could go for more barley here maybe only rye on this space okay something to consider Poof. it's really tough and i'm not really thinking this through to the bitter end i really try to play this relatively quickly actually because again i don't know the cards here too well anyway um yeah let's go to the sheep shearing here we have to spend two of our precious workers so we gain one wool per sheep we still at five sheep so that's five wool. So let's simply add that here. It's still not enough for this victory point card we just collected. Keep in mind, we want to see 12 of those and we need wool anyway for our manufacturer here too. So we cannot easily give this away, but we can also still move one of our sheep into the next round, which means we have secured this sheep and it's also worth an additional victory point at the end of the game. So that's three victory points here in total. I take that. Let's go, yeah, let's go to the small trade, actually. So we gain two crops. I think that's pretty cool, actually. That's actually pretty cool. So first of all, we go for two crops. We want definitely one more barley, that's for sure. And I think we need rye too. We need rye. Additionally, we get a milk or a wool. I think let's go for more wool, which brings us to 12. So I do this off camera now and I will also place those into our row that's one and one and again we can move one of our sheeps rather sheep 
down here. So that's four points. And again, if this stays here, we will unfortunately lose it. And this will also cost us a point. But I'm not sure if it's really worth going to an action. I think there aren't any real actions left. There are cards that allow you to do that. But I think now spending three workers just to save this sheep here. Um, yeah, apologies <laughs> to all sheep friends out there. We still have four more workers. So yeah, <laughs> I was really considering this or that, but as we only have two more fee empty fields left, I think we can also go to the busy weekend here because we also get another wool there. And I think again, this can be great. So yeah, let's go in here instead. So we get a milk or a wool. Apparently we need wool. So let's increase our wool production. We get milk from our sheep anyway at the end of the round. And again, we can plant two fields. And now I'm not sure where to plant what actually. Again, we have to spend six rye sometimes. So I think, and we still need to spend a rye for our brew brewing house, right? So I think, yeah, let's do it like this and again i've already taken care of the wool mm, okay we are down to two workers now so i guess we want to go to the sheep market here because it gives us a height we need height for one upgrade at least and we also could gain another sheep which is an automatic point and more milk i think let's go there but then what i'm going to do with my last worker maybe we go for another tool because with five tools that's automatically one point if we are not spending those keep in mind all the tools that you're using during the very last round of the game are spent really gone then. so i think they have <laughs> basically yeah we have depreciated those okay let's go to the sheep market i think so so we are getting a sheep. It goes directly into our stables. That's worth an additional point. And of course, we will also go with an additional height, which we will need for the upgrade later on too. Yeah, that's that. Wow, okay. With one worker, in theory, I could go to the town hall. And I think I'm doing this because I get two jewelry. And with one jewelry, I can move any one of our buildings right back so basically we get one jewelry here for free for only one worker so i think yeah let's do that let's go in here to the town hall we are moving this bakehouse one step back and therefore we collect two more jewelry and in theory we could also then make this card more cheap. If we play this clever enough, we could gain two more sheep. So this card could be worth two more points if we used well, because it says we have to spend one rye for each empty space here in our chest, treasure chest here, so that's six right now. So maybe something to consider, but not so sure about that. Okie dokie, as yes, this was our final action of the round. Oh. Ooh, spending one jewelry to gain five animal products of a kind, which would be either milk or wool. Wow, I think that's pretty insane, actually. This could give us the wool we need in order to basically play this card for just one jewelry. I don't have to do it right now, actually. I can still do that during the program. Again, I can play these cards pretty much any time. I think that was a pretty solid card, actually. Awesome. Okay, I take it. Then we will check our fields. Unfortunately, they will not get any better, but again, we can harvest, so they move down. We can harvest here, this will move down. Same as here, this will move down. Next, we gain the milk. We have now six sheep, so we get, wow, that's cool, six more milk. We definitely need the milk for our progression. And then, yeah, let's move into the progression, actually. And this could be rather interesting. I'm not sure, and this is really a bad thing. Maybe I need to spend wall jewelry now for the carpentry here. If I really want to move it twice, not sure if I need to move it twice right now in this round, but yeah. Okay, let's start with the carpentry. So we have to spend four goods because we will spend two different kind of goods. So that's one, two, and three. And again, we still need to spend more clay than we would spend rice. So this has taken care of this. Okay, that's great. Same is true here. One, two, three, and one hops. So we can, our brew house, move it ahead as well. The cool house, 
cooling house um same thing one two three four were two different kind of goods in theory we could have spent more meat but we don't have any more meat because we couldn't butcher our poor sheep um here i think it's quite simple we simply want to do one two and a maximum of three here that's the bakehouse that's the one we moved originally i think yeah and same here one two and three to the manufacturer so we have moved this so this brings us to 12 workers for the next round and 12 workers will be the maximum of this game anyway so everything every time we are now moving the community center we only quote unquote gain points for that so the next time we are moving this we will um, basically gain points instead of workers. I mean, we still stick to the 12 workers, but yeah, we don't gain any extra. Um, phew, this will be now a tough one, actually, because I will not move it much more, I guess. Uh, so I think we should try to move this. Definitely go for this one here. That's five goods, right? So one, two, three, four and five and we have to spend one of our tools to move this one here over again we need to prepare for the next round accordingly um here same thing or should we do it here no we don't have the height so let's try that here so one again we are out of those two and three this will allow us to move this one over. Maybe we should really we should move what we can move right now. At least really, I think that's that's definitely what we need to do. So one, two, three, and four of three and four. Let's do it like this. For this one here, we have to spend yet another tool. We take it and we should really should use our tools as much as we can. And the question is now, should we go for this or should we go for this? I believe we should be able to gain some more clay next round, one way or the other. So I'm not overly concerned about this one, but really getting height now and flex and in combination with this, maybe we should rather use this one here instead. So yeah, we will spend one of our jewelry now. I think let's not spend any more resources at this point. I think we can. I mean, we could in theory. I mean, we need four goods down here maybe we can do both actually hmm so one ah but when we are losing the flex for the next movement actually again we want to use it oh that's tough guys that's so tough should i use jewelry right now or not in theory i could spend it twice actually i really could spend it twice without any major problems oh boy oh boy but again, we are not gaining any workers, so we could really wait for next round, actually. Only thing is, um, whatever tools we're using now, we don't have to spend next round. So this could be the only limiting factor. We still have two more tools. So I think let's spend one jewelry and one tool to move the manufacturer over here. Again, let's, we don't need to go too crazy here, but in theory we could, because there is a way we could gain some more, at least one more jewelry next round, relatively inexpensive. So I think, yeah, let's go for the carpentry too. So we are moving this over too, and this now finally means that we can move it over here, and now we basically start scoring some points and again the next time we are doing this we will jump to 34 points and that's definitely something i mean that's really now the bare minimum making it here to 18 points i think yeah that was basically it. we are out of tools so we cannot move any further anyway so let's simply realign those boulders again this will move off now so i will move it here same as here again if we are moving back and at this point in time there is a space they might move back on that's why i'm not completely removing those fellas here i'll leave them here for now but in theory i only need to start um moving those um yeah one time so right now only one of those tools is sufficient because there's only one boulder in the way here okay that's cool i think yeah exactly with the next step we will already start scoring points for those buildings too so that's really something we will have to take care of during the next round and I guess that's it. So yeah, let's definitely move now into the final round of the game. So let's go for the last quadrant card of the game. And again, if I would have paid attention, yeah, now the two comes up, which is, I think, I think that's quite okay. So we are moving all of those cubes here. So at least we could 
try to butcher some sheep now for really some meat and hide. I think that's what we should do. Okay, that's cool. And we will start the next round with 12 workers. But unfortunately, this means this poor sheep is dying too. We are moving it here. So let's see how many cubes do I have. 5, 6, 8, 11 and 12 workers for the very last round. We will still gain our bonuses. I mean, that's already a good thing. Which again, 3 wool, 2 milk and we can plant once for free. But most definitely the 3 wool is amazing. 1, 2 and 3. So we had 15. So in theory we should be able to go for this card soon enough. Cool stuff. 2 more milk. I will take that too. And again we can plant once for free. And I think we will go for more rye. Yeah, we will spend one rye here. Which brings us to this. So in total, in theory, we have now um, basically four plus we have <laughs> five rye and we need six. And on top of this, keep in mind, we definitely need more rye for our victory point card here. And this is really a crucial one. It really is. Um, so we have to at least plant once on this field here too. Wow, really so excited for this final round. Okay, awesome. Right now it's cheap, so we will go and butcher a sheep. Again, we are trading in one victory point here. That's kind of a bummer, but I think let's go for it. This will give us four meat and two heights, but I believe this could easily give us three to six points. So I think that's definitely okay. So four meat and two height. Okay, poor sheep, but I think think it might be still worth it. For two workers we will go for the clay delivery. Again this gives us basically six clay according to the current round which is six. I think that's okay. We are moving up to eight clay here which is something. And we need this for our carpentry here for the upgrade. So at least one more update here gives us three more points. Keep that in mind and it will allow us to move our community center too. Okay, that wasn't terrible either. Next, I believe we want to go to the nursery. That's a strange translation translation actually, because this is more like gardening. Nursery for me sounds more like you're breeding sheep, but okay, that's what it is. Here it's normally gardening or so. Um, we will send a worker here. We could go for three more clay or three crops. I think we need more crops. So yeah, let's go there instead. Let's go for the crops. And we definitely should go for one rye. So just that we have it. Let's also go for flax and maybe one more barley. Or do we need more rye? Ah, that's now interesting. That's interesting piece. I think I will only be able to plant twice actually anyway. Uh, let me count this bar. I think we should go for more barley. I think so. Yeah, let's go for barley here. This could be still, this could be close actually. This could be really close. But let's see about that. Uh, yeah, these were three different crops. Oh, not in this case, it were different, but can go for basically the same kind of good so there's no limitation in that respect. Then I guess we should go for another busy weekend here in this case and this time we will go for the milk rather than the wool and again we can plan twice. So here's the milk that's one and maybe yeah, we definitely need more barley for sure so let's bring another one out and then I think we will go for rye instead than flex because we need flex only twice maybe I mean three times wouldn't be bad either actually oh gosh hmm I think but we need more rye for sure so let's go for rye now we still have some more action maybe I get some more crops somehow different you see I'm not really counting everything or planning everything through from the get-go I'm playing this rather tactical here so apologies for that a lot of you will definitely scream at your screen when you see me play but yeah that's what it is. And I guess we will go for some land sale because it could give me, I think, uh, on the, uh, it's a tough one. Do we really need that? It's definitely a point. And we could move one. Yeah, I think just for the job, we could move one more. I think this could give us three more points. No, in theory, it could give us even three more points. So yeah, let's go for the land sale. Not sure if that's a really wise idea. 
So I will gain one more jewelry. So let me show that here to you. We will gain three clay. It's actually okay. And if I would have planned it through, I think I could have gone for a different resource here. But okay, I will take it. So we will get, but we have to sell one field, not a problem. Therefore we gain one, two and three clay. And the other, I already dealt with the jewelry here. Okay, well, let's see about that. We are down to five workers. And I believe with two, we have to go to the nursery again, I believe. We need more barley still. At least that's what I think. Yeah, I think we need more barley. And if my math didn't fail me, I think we should be okay with two barley. And really hope that <laughs> this plays out correctly. And I think we will go with one more flex. Maybe, maybe. I think let's do it like this for now. Oh, wow, this will be such a close call. But yeah, really so damn exciting. Awesome. And now I'm awfully tempted to go here again for another victory point card. We still have two to play, but I think we should be okay, actually. At least I hope. Because sheep shearing, I think this doesn't happen actually, because yeah, this, this doesn't make sense. It's a long shot. On the other hand, we could go for a cheap bonus card here on the other quadrant over here. I'm not sure if this works. It does. It costs us also two workers, but it's more likely we will be able to play a bonus card. But I think that's then maybe two or three points. If we are really extremely lucky, we could go for a seven point or so card on the other end. But I think I will upgrade a lot of stuff. Should I chicken out or not? I think I should. I really should think we should play it safe now. So we will go for this one here, which gives us another bonus card. Was Oh, now we have to spend it. Oh boy, what a cool card. Oh, that's, yeah, I know this one. That's such a cool card, but we have to spend three jewelry to gain one and what? eight points and for every round you have that it's a bonus card so you get that in the income phase but oh it's too late it's too late it's too late and we can gain more points oh that's so unfortunate that's such a great card okay but we have to take it no matter what we are down to one measly worker here and actually i think we should use it for another tool so that we can basically go in every row can do two upgrades i'm pretty sure it's not likely that we will do that but i think it's the best we can do so we will spend this worker for yet another tool and that's pretty much the end of the game so we will flip this to the other side so we can spend oh that's interesting that's now actually very interesting we could spend two sheep for three height and six meat okay i think this could actually help us during the progress step if we really are running short in one of those it could really give us some points mm, that's not too bad let's let's at least let's not let's try not to forget that again they will not improve so we will move those resources over they will slide down this will go in here will slide down and then we get our milk we are down to four sheep but that's okay we are at 10 milk all together i take it and this is all really important for the timing if you would have played the card right away we would have gotten two less milk and again we can interrupt any other action with this card again there are some exceptions in some of the cards and let me check the cards maybe i find one of those for you at the end of this game but again usually you can really play them at any time and yeah then we are moving into the final progress phase of the game and again the bare minimum is to move this one at least one more space for 36 points and if we do that even once more I think we are moving to 50 points in total and that's also quite insane but i think let's not think about that let's not jump to conclusion i think let's go for the easy one here so we are moving this one down we need five wares now five goods because we are in round six and we will spend two different ones so that's one two three four and five. Oh, we can five no um five no four and five exactly otherwise we would have to spend six of those so we are moving this over we have also scored three points here nice 
At least, yeah, if they're not moving it, obviously. Um, then we will go for this one here, right? Uh, or should we spend this card here first? Just to be sure. Let's do this. So we will spend two of our jewelry. We will spend one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, okay, we have scored this card. That's 10 more points. I take it. Awesome. Nicely done. And now we can look at this. So we need four of those. So one, two, three, and four, and one hops. In theory, we could simply go for that. But that's another step here. Again, we want this big jump here, obviously, not this measly small stuff here. Same is here. We basically spend one, two, three, and four, and five to move the cool house over. Here it's simply one, one, and one to move the bake house over. And the same thing here, one, one, and one to move the manufacturer over. So basically we are allowed to move this one over here. And again, that's 34 points in total. Okay, I take that. That wasn't bad. Really, really not bad. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Hmm. Can we do more? But I think before we go again, anything crazy, we will make sure we are scoring this card because that's another 10 points. On the other hand, if we move this, that's 16 points. So maybe that's more valuable than that. And I think let's at least try to achieve as much as we can before we, we are doing this. I mean, we are not spending so much wool on this here anyway. So again, we need one, two, three, four, and four and five. Oh, we don't need that. Five and six, actually. I think we can use this down here maybe for this step that might be the better deal we have to spend one too though this is now really gone from the game to move the carpentry over one more step cool um we will not be easily able to do that we could use the jewelry but let's see if we can do the cool house first so we need we don't have any meat so we have to spend one two three four five and six and yet another tool to move this, oops, the cool house over. And again, if, even if we are not making it, these will still score us points. Um, I think that's so important. I mean, it's, it's all about points in the end. So we have still three more tools. Then I think we can go for this one here easily too, right? So one here, one flex and one wool. And again, yet another tool in order to move this one here over to so those are nine points alone here i mean that's that's definitely not bad um we we just scored with that hmm okay here again i could use a ring for another three points i think that's also not bad and can we do this here once more i think we can't actually I think we can't. We are down to one ring. Of course, we should use one ring in order to score more points. But I think, yeah, the barley is our problem here. So we can definitely not do this. And this one is also, I think we cannot make it here either. So in this case, it doesn't really matter which one we are going for. So we are spending our last remaining jewelry. We'll spend another tool. And then I think let's go for this one here. And I guess that was our progress phase. And now let's spend this card. So we are down to one wool now after we have played this card. So that's 10 more points, I take it. And I believe this was everything. Of course, I would be wow. That would have been so cool playing this card for another eight point. But yeah, that's not gonna happen. And I believe that's my friend is pretty much the end of the game. So let's tally up our score. So the obvious points is this one here. So that's 34 points. I take it. We have four sheep. I think that can be done rather easily. We have zero jewelry. That's kind of a bummer. Um, and then we are basically tallying up all our resources and divide them by five. And each one of those is, is a point. And I think that's only one. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, that's one point. And we are one resource short, one two three four so that's one measly point 
for the um, basically resources, but I think it's still better using those points for actual stuff, upgrading your, your um, community center and your, your buildings and whatnot than going for those. This is really some, I don't know, kind of last resort points. And last but not least, we have to tally up our victory point cards or rather all cards that give us victory points. So here we have 27, 30, 35, 38 points in total. And I just lost my pen. Now oh, here it is. What was, ah, oh, come on, I've already forgotten. I think 38, right? So 30, 35, yeah, 38 points in total. And let me quickly do the math. So that's five, nine, 13, one, four, and three, wow. 73 points in total. Um, oh no, I think I rather forgot something. I think we're doing a little bit better here, actually. Of course, I believe those points do belong to this one here. It's not listed here, though. That's strange. So that's uh, nine, 12 more points. So that's 85 overall. Okay, I take it. I mean, 85 with a new deck of cards. I'm pretty happy with the result. Of course, I was hoping for the 100, but again, I, I really, I, <laughs> I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy camper with the result here. And yeah, that was my solo playthrough of Halatau. Really, in a very enjoyable game. Really, this definitely is becoming one of my most favorite games from Uwe Rosenberg. Um, really a lot of fun. It's, it's such a nice puzzle. It plays relatively quickly. It comes also with endless replayability in respect to all those combinations. In theory, you can shuffle all those cards together if you want, of course, deck by deck and really go for a very, very unique experience each time you play. I think they advise against it because they say we only have tested those decks in within their own. But but you can do these kind of crazy stuff. I'm pretty sure we will see some more decks appearing on the horizon so rather sooner than later. So you will have even more of those different kind of decks. But again, as the game is right now, it's already pretty, pretty replayable. But that's very typical for a Uwe Rosenberg game, I would say. A huge shout out to all of my patrons out there. Again, really do appreciate your support. Again, if you want to support my channel, um, definitely you will find a link to my page on Patreon in the description of this video. You can join my community here on YouTube by becoming a member. One of the perks for that is you get early access to my I play through videos so usually a day before I basically make them public um, my patrons can already check those out so this is definitely something for you to consider you get to vote on my playthroughs sometimes even I ask you what to buy next so definitely a lot going on there like and subscribe and hope to see you soon in one of my other videos most likely next will be paleo so also looking forward to this one too and yeah hope to see you soon and until then bye bye